Congratulations, Jane Austen Society, on your ATF. Now, the traditional gift for an ATF anniversary is oak. And as it happens, this little souvenir acorn is carved from the wood of an oak tree that I have it on very good authority. Jane Austen herself planted beside the boundary wall of her Chawton cottage and which had to be felled, sadly, in 1986-87. Now, I relish all the links between the celebrity afterlives of Will and Jane. And in the mid 18th century, just as Stratford began to attract its first trickle of literary tourists, an almost 200 year old mulberry tree that Shakespeare supposedly planted was cut down, inciting nationwide lament. A local craftsman named Thomas Sharp bought the wood and turned those pieces into mementos for visitors. And a thriving industry ensued in an impossibly large number of relics that all claim to be made from that same tree and which now reside in various museums all around the world. In the Folger Shakespeare Library, for example, fragments of the wood are also embedded in bindings of Shakespeare editions as if pieces of an alternative true cross now, the go goddess of our idolatry, however, is of course the divine Jane, and today we make our pilgrimage to Chawton, even if we have to do so virtually. Chawton still has a long way to go before it can lay claim to be to Jane Austen what Stratford became to Shakespeare, and let's hope that we can do it without the bus traffic and without the tax. Now, recent events have shown that we cannot be complacent about the future of our sacred pilgrimage destinations. And as you know, I'm the president of the North American Friends of Chawton House, a charity here in the States helping to raise needed funds. The Jane Austen Society and its sister societies all around the world are the keepers of the Janeite flame. And only by working together can we hope to secure the future. Now, if we could only plant this wee acorn, here's to the next 80 years. <laughs>